Welcome to another screencast from DIYPCRepairs.net and this time we're going to look at Windows 7 boot problems um, and what to do or what to try if your Windows 7 won't start normally and in this screencast we're going to cover last known good configuration basically what last known good configuration does is if um, say you install a driver and the driver says you know please reboot Windows so you reboot Windows and then you find Windows won't start because the driver's bad or it's the wrong driver and Windows doesn't like it, it'll just go into this constant loop of crashing on the startup. So what last known good configuration does, it remembers the settings from the last time that Windows successfully started. And when you select from the advanced boot options, which is what I'm going to show you now, um, last known good configuration, it will revert Windows back and all the drivers back to how it was the last time it booted. Um, so it can get you out of trouble with drivers and such like that. We've also got a screencast covering safe mode um, if last known good configuration doesn't work try starting in safe mode um, there'll be a link in the video here to the uh, safe mode video and we've also got the advanced system restore which will show you how to use system restore if you can't boot into Windows um, but anyway what I'm going to do now is I'm going to restart this computer so we've got to restart and now we get into the boot options is when Windows starts and same with safe mode if you want safe mode as Windows starts you just tap F8 we tap F8 and here we have the advanced boot options list um, there we have safe mode and down here we have last known good configuration so it's a simple case of hit and return and Windows will start up now what it's doing now is it's reverting back to its list of known good settings for Windows and hopefully that will fix any driver problems that you've had. Okay so there we go Windows has restarted and hopefully the problems that you had have now disappeared and Windows has started okay. Again if it hasn't you can always try safe mode and then there's also the advanced system restore which could also get you back into Windows revert you back to an earlier point. Um, so for the last known good configuration that's basically it very straightforward and I'd like to thank you for viewing.